chicken. Welcome back everybody, Bama here again. We are out here at Stockade Lake and I got a new phone. So I am testing it out and these are some barn swallows I believe that are floating around this lake here. They're skimming the lake for bugs it looks like. But I just want to come out here, it's Memorial Day, it's grand soft evening. It's raining a lot. So I did have today off, just kind of been laying around being a lazy day. Ooh, what do we got there? Uh, buzzard? Yeah. Turkey vulture over there, crows, crows. Yeah, well, it's a beautiful area. So this is Stockade Lake. This is located in Custer State Park. It's located on the west side of the park. And yeah, it's a good place to go boating, good place to fish. Got a beach over there in that little alcove out in there. So I'm just kind of chilling out. I'm gonna get out of the house, get some fresh air. Feel like I'm coming down with a little head cold. So if I sound stuffed up, that's the reason why. I'm kind of enjoying some sounds. See those birds up there? And testing out the new phone. Looks like the rain's going to subside for a little bit. It is a slight drizzle right now. It was coming down pretty good. Got a big storm that rolled through last night. Or yesterday evening. And it got me out of work. And I may be out of work tomorrow if this continues. Speaking of work, I've been working a lot. Especially these past couple of weeks, been trying to catch up on some projects. Yeah, that's a that's a buzzard. Ooh, my phone's getting wet. I don't want to get my new phone wet, but just checking out the camera, seeing how it works. Yeah, it's a beautiful area. I don't have a case for this phone yet, so I'm kind of worried about it. I haven't been using it. I've had it over a week. But this is the first time I've taken some video on it and sitting inside my truck and watching the birds fly and watching the rainfall. And this lake is a little bit bigger and kind of deceives the eye. It does go around that bend over there and opens up. There's a little inlet over there and the spillway's back on that side. See, it picks up my finger pretty good. That is, that's a decent camera. It's faster than my last camera. All right, focus, focus, there it goes. Cool. Yeah, it's a little bit faster than my last phone. My last phone was about three years old, so it was starting to get wore out. And I went ahead and bit the bullet and got a new one. And I was getting, it was hard to get service out in the hills. And we're going to test this phone out and see how it does. South Dakota here in the Black Hills is a spotty service area. They are putting up another cell tower up in Hill City, which is an AT&T tower. And hopefully they... We'll have better service, especially in that area. Wow, there's a lot of birds out here. A lot of swallows, I believe those are. I'm also getting new glasses. Yeah, those are swallows. Iron swallows. All right, I got a car coming up. Get out of the way. Okay, well, I am. This is kind of almost a one way drive, and I'm sitting off to the right, and there's enough room to get past, but I'm going to get up out of here and Take a little drive around this lake and get some different vantage points. And 
talk about the reason why I haven't been doing very many videos. Be back. Okay, we are here on the northeast side of Stockade Lake, and this is Stockade Lake Drive. From where I was, which is just right across the way, it's not a very big lake compared to a lot of areas, but it's big enough. It's a pretty lake. You know, we're up in the mountains, so it's nice. People hang out and get peace out here in solitude. Go fishing, go swimming when it's hot enough. Water is cold. Yeah, it's a soft day, so that's the beach area. I'll drive down in there. So Stockade Lake. Whew. Yeah, I feel like I'm coming down with a cold. It's this weather change we keep having. It gets hot, cold, hot, cold. Yeah, and Little Man's had the sniffles a lot here lately, and he's had a cough. So that's the beach area, and it does have its own playground. And this does fill up in the summer. And it's the lake we walk across uh, when it gets frozen. And it's a good place to go ice fishing for your ice fishermen that like to come out here. So that's the spillway right there, and then the bridge. And then just right over there, that land that's right pointing at, that's where I was. Yeah, so it's not very, very big. You have a boat dock. You can put speed boats, motorized boats out here. You got the geese, and Canadian geese. Yeah, I like to ride around this area too. It's a pretty area. So the reason why I haven't been doing very many videos here lately is, well, first of all, I've been working a lot. You know, the workload has increased for me. I was working 40 to 44 hours a week on four days a week. Now I'm working 45, 50 hours a week on five days a week. So the workload has increased, and plus there'll be some days that I will pull a 13, 14 hour day. That's the most I've done. And those are some long days, and sometimes the work's gotta be done. And then plus, number two, we have a newborn. Well, not a newborn, but she's starting to be a toddler. She requires some attention. And I get a little videos of her. She is a, uh, let me say a, very finicky child as we've come to find out right now and she is fussy so she likes being lavished with a lot of attention and now she's teething and she cries a lot little man's hadn't having a hard time kind of transitioning to having a sister that gets a lot of attention too and i'm doing a lot for him that i do off camp that i'm not recording so a lot of memories that are there in my head I started off this channel off thinking that I was going to make Little Man the focus of this channel growing up. And then I spread it out to show a lot of things that we like to do and stuff that I like to do too as well. And I started thinking about it and I didn't really want my boy to be one of those YouTube kids that gets spoiled and gets everything that they want. Just not who I am. Now here's the spillway. And I have to teach him a lot more values, the stuff that, that not everything is about YouTube, and that's what he was learning. Yeah, there it is. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yep, rainy day, rainy day. And then that's the spillway, that's the inlet. I forget what creek that is. That might be French Creek that it still turns into. French Creek fills in this area, and I think it still goes down through there. I think it's still French Creek. I'm not sure about that. I have to do some research. Oh, got a car coming behind me, so let me pull over off to the side and continue my little spiel. Number three reason, I lost my job. I lost my job and had to get back to work. Well, we ran really into the red there for a little bit. You know, we're just having a baby. I'll roll down that window. We're just having a baby and paying off bills and stuff like that. My wife sold her Jeep and we were down to one vehicle for a while. Well, I bought her a new vehicle, a new to her. It's repaired on it, took most of my savings and then more bills came up. That cost a lot of money. Well, shooting videos sometimes costs money if you wanna make it different than the mundane stuff that we always do. 
you know so it, it, people say that you can do YouTube videos without costing a lot of money but things that I like to do cost money that's so pretty look at that it can cost some money to run a YouTube channel it doesn't pay for itself with like gear you know memory cards you know you fill up a memory card you don't lose all those memories I got them stored on my computer too listen that catalytic converter you know I wish that catalytic converter wouldn't have gone out this truck rattles a little bit and that's another reason another reason why I didn't well I haven't been putting out very many videos is I took a break from YouTube and the most reason why I took a break from YouTube was my own frustration my own frustration was that I wasn't growing as a channel like my friends channels were growing you know my friends channels like Rayleigh and Van Life Voyages Ford Man aka Kenneth Oaks Magnificent Germany with Darian you know etc on down the line I wasn't growing I'm still not growing and I can kind of figure why I'm not really growing and I can speculate the reason why I'm not growing but I was frustrated I was jealous I was envious of a, everybody's channel I really did get discouraged and I didn't want to shoot videos I was kind of in a look deer 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 I can spot those things miles away yeah there they are there's one there's another one right there cool yeah a lot better zoom that's good there's a campground right over here yeah I was discouraged I did not want to do videos that much anymore and coming up with ideas to try to keep the channel fresh that's another reason I'm getting back into the game the weather has a lot to do with it we didn't hardly have any snow and when we did get snow it would melt away we're having a warm season and it happens up here yeah so this is Custer or Stockade South Campground and you have to have a park entrance license to get in as you can see there that's a nice little area it's a small campground it's quiet looks like it's got hookups and then we'll come around we're on the southwest side of it now like I said it's not a very big lake the wife had to get back to work so there's a lot of times where she works nights and days and she covers for a lot of people that don't want to show up and do the job so I'm stuck at home with the kids and you have a eight month old that's not very mobile and fussy you don't go anywhere now well, she's starting to come out of it she's <laughs> you know the funny thing is that my daughter was scared of me and I don't know why it's just the way it is but she was scared of me she would cry whenever she would see me so you know a lot of times it's just having to you know trying to cope with her being fussy and crying all the time and you can't record you know and it's sad but she's warming up to me she's starting to become my little buddy you know she's she's coming around and i'm sure she'll start to open up a lot more as she gets older but she's really a mama's girl right now she wants her mama 24 7. it's frustrating for my wife and frustrating for me because you know she she doesn't want anything to do with me sometimes and she just cries and cries at the sight of seeing me i don't know what it is the beard the glasses you know i don't know but she'll come around and then we stop little stop sign oops <laughs> I was looking anyway. So that's the stockade. That's the reason why it is named Stockade Lake. And that's right along the highway, Highway 16 right here in Custer. You got the stockade there. And one of these days I'll showcase that stockade. It's raining right now and I got a new phone with no case. And I don't want it to get wet. That's pretty much it. And we'll get back to making more videos. Stuff like that. You know, we got some plans. Uh, Sodak Rad had to be put on hold. Uh, my partner kind of bailed out on me. He doesn't want to do videos anymore. And which is a shame because he had a good 
camera presence and he didn't mind talking to the camera so I'm kind of doing that by myself but I got some ideas for that later on in the summer as the weather starts to warm up you know it's still South Dakota and you can see that temperature right there my radio is not working I got to figure out the reason why it's not working but you see that it's 47 degrees out here and it's raining so it's cold it's a cold wet rain so and this is Memorial Day and there's not very many tourists usually there are I went into town a little bit ago and it is fairly empty I don't know if the old McNasty as Ford man would say it is keeping everybody out but well, it's just a, I mean just look at that pasture land forever so we're testing out the new phone I'm kind of rambling a little bit but those are the reasons why I haven't been putting out very many videos as of lately and just kind of needed a break and get life sorted out and we'll get back to it and put out more videos and get more first for little man's I got planned for him and I do appreciate everybody that has stuck with me with this lull in this channel's production I'm sitting there watching deer take a leak <laughs> I want to thank everybody that's been hanging out with us it's been fun I've gotten a little frustrated and it's been kind of hard this past winter uh, things changing new workload longer workload heavier workload uh, being on my feet more uh, not a young man anymore so I had to get back into kind of a more of a work shape and when I had a sit down job it was kind of easy or you know not having to run around everywhere like I am now I'm on my feet constantly but I mean I can handle it it's just it just makes me more tired and so but we'll get back to it and I'm going to start uploading more videos I've been trying to keep up the channel with shorts and keep it going and I'm getting new glasses too because you can tell these are scratched so I did go to the eye doctor this past week and had to pony up some money for some new glasses and we'll get it going and hopefully they're better looking glasses I've never really liked these glasses so we'll get back I'll have some videos coming out here pretty soon more riding videos fishing videos golfing videos I'm gonna be doing some golfing this summer some disc golf and some ball golf so that'll be fun we'll be doing some showcases on the Sodak Rad channel uh, I've got some interesting ideas that I want to showcase about things that are going on here in the Black Hills uh, don't want to do a construction channel let me turn off these wiper blades yeah my job's construction but I don't want to be a construction channel I mean yeah that's what I do for a living and I might do some where I'm doing builds and stuff like that but I decided I don't want to be a construction channel uh, there's plenty of them out there and I don't know enough about it really I'm still green to it I've been doing it for a little less than a year now and I did it back in my early 20s and it wasn't the same type of construction it was block laying and I hated it and so I'm getting back into this and I really like it I'm really enjoying it uh, learning a lot of new things that are really skillful jobs and um, but pretty much I'm kind of like an apprentice so I'm just a greenhorn doing construction so you know it's kind of stressful sometimes you make mistakes you get yelled at and you have to take it with a grain of salt and then trying to be the dependable guy that gets people to work and you know goes and picks up tools and stuff like that making sure the boss my boss Justin has everything that he needs and helping him out so it's, it's been a transition and that's part of it too you know you're starting a new lifestyle is basically what you're doing and when you have to start a new job you know it's it can be stressful and so there's a lot of things to it and I don't want to rant too much and I'm staying very positive about doing this so you know I just kind of got to roll with the punches those deer are funny chasing each other around and running amongst the geese I'm going to show you guys so I'm going to leave it at that 
and ng guys with some photos or some footage of deer that are running around in this pasture land right here and then i'm going to go home because i'm not feeling too well so we'll see you guys later